It's almost 70 years since the British exploded three atom bombs on the Montebello Islands, devastating the local ecosystem. Now the remote reefs off the Pilbara coast are facing a different kind of threat. The coral cover that we had in the communities was about 30-40% and it's significantly dropped and it's been less than 10% for the last sort of six years. In a bid to understand these changes, scientists are studying the mass coral spawning event that occurs every year during the full moon in March, placing terracotta tiles on the sea floor to catch coral larvae and study its growth. What we can actually look at from those coral tiles is work out the type of species and the relative biomass of the corals on those tiles at the different sites that we have. These coral reefs should be full of colour and life. But five years ago, everything changed. The water temperature spiking up to two degrees. I actually dived to the site prior to 2012 bleaching event. It was a beautiful underwater fairyland almost. It was really pretty, a lot of diversity. Then I also dived to the site after the bleaching event. It was quite upsetting to see the difference. All corals in less than seven metres of water suffered some form of bleaching. The 30 year data set that we have for water temperature has shown a 0.03 degree increase per year. But Mr Hunt says despite the damage, he's optimistic. We're sort of in this phase of, OK, well let's try and understand the coral community system here to work out what corals are, you know, hopefully bouncing back, essentially. Researchers will be back next year to continue the study. Susan Standen, ABC News, Montebello Islands.